What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Aisha Maurice, and it's finally here. It's finally here. It's finally fucking here, guys. I am finally ready to do this. I've been waiting to do this video for maybe about two weeks now, and I'm fucking excited. Today, I will be reacting to Dama Wilson's genius interview. For I Wish I Never Met You. Oh my god, you guys know how much I love that fucking song. And I'm just so happy for Dama. I'm so proud of her. And I'm happy that she's living her truth. That she's able to be herself. Whew. I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say to you guys. Like, I just, I want to just jump right in it. It, 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 just, it just go ham. Like, I'm just, I'm so fucking ready okay so whew, I'm excited I'm, like, I'm really really excited I don't I don't know what to say like, I'm really excited I'm so happy for my good sis like I'm I'm fucking excited like to do this video oh my god okay I went and record Eminem popped in my head. I was like, you fucking bitch, Kim. Like, ooh, Kim popped in my head, that song. And I was like, yo, relatable AF. Oh my God. I'm such a cool ass, you know, person. And I'm such a down ass bitch. Like, you ain't gotta treat me like that just because you found somebody else. You can respect me and still love whoever. Don't shit on me. Don't shit on the people who helped you out. Should've left you where I met you, bitch, you fucked up. You hit the jackpot with me, bitch, you lucked up. Man, I met Shorty at Olive Garden, right? She was living in the basement with her mama. I should've left your ass at Olive Garden, man. You don't deserve the houses, the cars, the money, the love, support. And it ain't even just about the materials. It's about how I treated you. You ain't never gonna get another girl like that. But you want another... Damo! You ain't, have, you ain't have you ain't have to say it like you ain't have to say it like that, sis. You ain't have to say it like that, sis. You ain't, you ain't have to say it like that, sis. I got you. I feel you. I feel you. you. Bitches got me fucked up. Now you got me over here screaming fuck love. I understand people. I get shit. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? But for you to have me screaming fuck love after I'm just such a loving person, you really done fucked up. You never love me and I see it in your eyes though. I was dumb enough believing all your lies, ho. I was dumb. Like, I was that girl that can see, like, she laying next to me. She don't really seem into me. But you know what? I'm going to try a little harder. I'm going to try because I want this to work. I was just dumb. I didn't know my worth at all. So she was just a friend, but now she in your thighs, yo. I tried to turn a fucking hoe into a wife, bro. You can't say that somebody's your friend and not ain't fucking. That's why I don't do that best friend shit. Oh, that's my best friend. And then when we break up all over, oh, miraculously, she's in the thighs. Damn, bitch, you done fucked up bad. Gonna be ringing on my phone when you... Now y'all know what I'm about to say. Chrissy and Mila swear up and down that they met in um in September. They said up and down. They met in September. You know, because that line always that line always, you know, hit a spot with me. But I'm glad, you know, she explained that, you know. I'm gonna do some digging. I'm gonna let this continue. You see what you had, and I'm a block scan delete and say, oops, my bad. I know for a fact she might have so much, what's that called? <sighs> Pride right now. She gonna be calling my phone. She will. They all do. They all come back. And when she fucking bursts your heart, I hope you cry and you sad. I hope she uses you for money, hope she sucks you dry. I hope she leave you and don't tell you, you won't understand why. I hope she texting other bitches while you laying that night. I hope you crying every day while she playing your life. I was blind. Everybody told me what it was, but I ain't fucking listen because I thought I was in love. Everybody and their mama told me, Damo, this ain't that. that it, you forcing it at this point. She don't love you. Everybody says, in the beginning, I think she did. I really do. But as shit kept going, no, you're like, come on now. You can't be that blind. I was blind. Even though I did see some stuff, her true colors, I did not see until literally after the breakup, you know? So I'm just like, everybody's like, you better leave that alone. I wish I never met you, bitch, you fucking killed my buzz. You ain't have a fucking reason. You play me because you could, you fucking bitch. When I said I wish I never met you, I genuinely mean that shit. I'm not sorry for that. I was good before you, like Rihanna said, and needed me. I was good on my own, just the way it was. Just the way it was. 
Come on, my cousin. See, I like that she's really coming out and saying what she really feels because not a lot of people like when in breakups and situations like this not a lot of people come out and, and find themselves immediately you know she had to take time she had to talk about it before she could like make her transition and when she made her transition she fucking blossomed like look at her she's on fucking genius bro she's on fucking genius Gonna talk your shit. So that I ain't do a thing for you, girl. You soft as shit. So I fucking walk around Gucci like you bought the shit. I fucking gave you what you got, bitch. You off the shit. Some of the craziest gifts that I think I bought her was probably like cars, houses, uh, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just even, it ain't even just that, all that good stuff. It's even about in the beginning, you know, getting your nails done, getting your hair, hair done, giving you money, helping your family out. Don't show me. Don't do it. Switched it out when you got your own. Girl, let me alone. Say you grown. Playing on my phone. Go end up alone. Because every time that I come over, you be trying to fuck. But you got a girlfriend. Bitch, you wild as fuck. Every single time I would come over, she would ask me for intercourse. And I'm just like, you got a whole girl. What's wrong with her vagina? I don't trust you. <laughs> Bitch, I don't trust you. Damo. 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 Da look at me. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Maybe Chrissy wanted that old thing back for like a hot second, you know? Maybe, maybe she wants it. Maybe, you know? Maybe you do something that Mila don't do. Maybe, like, you know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, sis. Maybe you do something that Mila don't do. Look at what you're doing to your girl. You, you showing her off for trying to lick my pearl. Okay. And when I fucking decline, you claim that she's your world and how you never ever felt this with no other girl, bitch. When I would yes, come over, sis. or when she would come over to my house, back when we was cool, we don't associate. But when we were, um, she was always trying to like touch me, kiss me, and stuff like that while in a relationship. And, I, and then when I would decline, whoa, all of a sudden she's like, you know what? I love this bitch. I love her. I'm fucking tired of you, ho. I really wanted to be proud of you, ho. They see your colors cause your attitude, ho. You never show no fucking gratitude, yo, with all the fake shit. Girl, you ain't shit. You don't make shit. I'm patient cause karma coming for you when I wait in. Karma, I don't gotta do Oof. nothing. It works by itself, you know what I'm saying? How she treated me in a relationship is what she gonna get back. You baking, you smoking now, girl. Like, damn, you changing your face. It's like what you want, girl. You acting basic, so I just Oof. feel like you changing. You know, now you twerking on the gram and on Snapchat and shit and you fucking... Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's like, where was you these last three years? Like, that's how I feel. You changing. You wasted from every Friday to every Monday. You tainted, it, hoping you change, girl, like maybe some that he raised it. Because what we had, girl, it wasn't nothing. You said I was so easy to get over. Bitch, you front, huh? This wasn't even too long after our breakup, you know what I'm saying? And she was just... You know, I want to touch on the smoking thing. I remember... A long time ago on Chrissy's channel, she mentioned that before she was with Damo, she she used to smoke weed. So I think that her being in the relationship with Damo, I think she just cut all of that out because that's something that Damo didn't like. And once she, you know, was free from the relationship, she started smoking blacks again. So, I mean, hey, it is... <sighs> around with hickeys and stuff and I'm like you really don't respect me I see it you never love me somebody who cares will at least try to hide it you say I'm weird somebody come get this weird ass bitch for some years bitch fuck you Woo! you said you found nothing bitch you ain't shit bitch tears I used to cry to her and you know be so sad that people call me weird I am strange I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. and I don't do drugs I don't drink nothing it's my personality so yes, for her sis. to call me weird on social media over and over again like, somebody come get this weird ass bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, you knew what that would do to me. So your future, if you had one, you really got the mad one. Texting me, you hate me, and your new girl is amazing, and she's gonna have a baby, and she moving in, it's crazy. Woo! So people were sending me on my Twitter that she's about to have a baby. And I'm just like, well, the whole three years that we were together, you, you said you never wanted a baby. baby. So obviously somebody else is convincing you otherwise, or maybe you just really feel like that, but it's the fucked up part about it. Like, you could have just been real with me and told me you ain't want my ass no more. Now I'm out here, look at me, crying over fingers. Back with her. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> crying over what, Damo? I like that. 
but it's the fucked up part about it. Like, you could have just been real with me and told me you ain't want my ass no more. Now I'm out here, look at me, crying over fingers. Back with her a week later, that's foul, but I'm not gonna do shit cause karma coming around. While I'm catching fights the book and shit, you bumming the ground. I will be happy, but you treat me like a bum on the ground. You said that you would never do you two with another. You been acting fucking shady ever since you got a lover. And you claiming that you love her and you putting her out. Don't be surprised when she leave you when she get all the clout, bitch. Man, yes, when I seen that sis. girlfriend was on her YouTube channel, she always told me, that's disrespectful. I would never put another girl on YouTube because you put me onto this. You know, that's a spit in your face and stuff like that. We even argued about her making her own channel. I was like, you just gonna get a channel and leave. And she was like, no, no, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened. Never again will I ever lose myself in no relationship. Facts. If you can't commit, if you don't like me how I am, then bitch, fuck you. Go find somebody on your level. Because you ain't no mine. Facts, sis. I wish I never met your ass. When I did the outro of the song, it was just a freestyle. It was just what I was feeling. Because I was this person for so long. No, she didn't physically force me to be masculine. But that's what she was attracted to. I wanted to be everything she was attracted to. She didn't like me girly. And obviously, like, a lot of people don't understand why all of a sudden I'm girly now. I wanted to be sexy for her. I wanted her to feel like I was beautiful. I wanted her to feel like I was just the best thing walking. And when I did go girly, she didn't like it, you know? But it's like, fuck you. You don't like me for how I am? Then go find somebody on your level. And apparently she did. When I met her, like... I was confident. I was that bitch. I walked around with my head high. You know what I'm saying? I got with her and it was just like, I, it was like, man. So I had to remember who I was before her. You know, I'm still that bitch. I will always be that bitch. Yes, never Dominique. Never than what I am. What's up, y'all? It's Damo Wilson in it. Damo, 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 please. I'm proud, okay? I'm proud of her, okay? And the interview was amazing. It was dope. It was good to hear her explanation for everything she said in the song like i respect it 100 percent. like i get it because we all go through that in a relationship where we want to be what the person likes or how they want us to be and we lose ourselves and then we give them everything that they want and then come to find out It wasn't what they wanted in you. That's what they wanted in someone else. So, again, I'm proud of Damo. I'm happy. I love the song. And I'm just... I'm just so happy that, you know... She was able to get this far and do this type of shit on her own. And you guys know how I feel about Chrissy and Jamila. So, I'm not even gonna, like, go back and forth with that in the video. But I am extremely extremely fucking proud of Damo like I really am and I, I can't say that enough that I am proud of this girl and um I, this is just the beginning this is like the first of everything so uh whew. and that was really that was really fucking good like I that was good like you see how I wasn't saying much because I was really 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 into it and I I'm proud. I, I can't. I can't keep saying that. Like I'm proud. Like she's being herself, and as someone who's watched Damo from her Facebook days into now, it you know you finally get to see the real. Like everyone gets to see the real. Everyone gets to see what everyone has been seeing from for years, for years, and all the people that's calling her fraudulent and all this extra bullshit. Y'all can suck one like real shit. Real shit though. But. Y'all already know what part of the video this is. Go hit up my socials. Twitter, underscore, Lush Marie's X3. Um, Instagram is Blue Rebel X3. Um, Snapchat, Lush Marie's X3. And then Twitch.tv, where you can find me every single day, whether I'm streaming myself or if I'm in somebody else's stream. It's twitch.tv slash slash x 3 And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, all that other shit big YouTubers say. And I will see you guys in my next video.